Hi guys, welcome back to my channel Avanti Morocha. Today I'll share all the information you need to know about HTV Run Hat Heat Press and to test it I'll be making some projects with it. Now let's begin. First I'll show you the unboxing. Here is the user manual, an ironing mat, a travel bag, And inside this container is the hat heat press. This hat press works with 120 volts if you bought it in the US. It reaches to a max temperature of 390 degrees Fahrenheit. I like that the storage lip is multifunctional. It works as the press cover and as the base for the ironing mat. This hat press has a digital display screen and four buttons. Now I'll plug it in, you'll hear a beep and the power button will start blinking. To turn it on, press the power button. Use the adjustment button to set the temperature and time. Press the plus and minus to increase or reduce the temperature or time. The red light indicates that the press hasn't yet reached the desired temperature. When it does, the light will switch to green. Now I'll test it and personalize a hat. I have already cut the design and add an iron on transfer with two layers. For the first layer, I'll set the temperature to 290 degrees Fahrenheit and the time to 15 seconds. If you use Celsius, you can use the adjustment button to change the unit. While the press reaches the desired temperature, I'll prepare the hat. Place the ironing mat on the storage lip and secure it in these two points. Place the hat in the ironing mat. Ensure the hat fits properly into the ironing mat. I'll place the first layer. Place the hat press and press the power button for 2 seconds to start the countdown. Wait for the ironing to cool down. Now remove the backing. For the second layer, I'll use a temperature of 300 degrees Fahrenheit and 15 seconds. I'll place the second layer, which is glitter iron on. Press it for 15 seconds. By mistake, I set it for 30 seconds, but I only press it for 15 seconds. The time may vary based on the iron on you're using. Ensure the design is completely cool before removing the backing. As you can see, it looks fantastic. And I also made this hat. Overall, this hat press works well and is easy to use. I hope you like this video and find it informative. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. If you are interested in this hat press, I'll share the link where you can buy it in the info box below the video plus a discount code of 20% off valid until April 1st only in the US. If you are new to my channel and you like what you see, hit the subscription button, tap the notification bell so you get informed every time I release a new video. Don't forget to visit my blog, follow me on my social media, like this video and share it with your loved ones. See you soon. Ciao, ciao.